Hello, hello, everybody. This is Milky. Welcome back to another Sword of the Season Pioneer of All of Them Let's Play. We had a lot of fun last episode marrying Reyna, and for this episode, I really want to show you guys a character that can only be unlocked by marrying Yori. Even though I feel very, very sorry for Reyna, but I need to do this in order to show you guys all about this secret unlockable character. So I already go to the temple and pray for the 10th back time, and Miyuki is back to single in game, and I'm going to show you guys the new secret characters. And let's get started! Since we have some extra time in the morning in winter, I want to take some time and change my clothes and uh, uh, my outlooks once in a while. I wish we don't need to collect the materials and could just buy the new clothes. It would make the this whole process uh, much much easier, but I guess that's a fun challenge. So I finally collected enough uh, flowers needed for our rest. I'm so super happy because it looks super cute, so let's go get it! Where is it? Oh wow, <laughs> there's so many hats. Oh, there we go, I got it! It's definitely not easy to collect all of these flowers because some of them are out season, so I can't grow them. Actually, what I have done is whenever I see them in the spray shop, I, I just buy it and uh, finally able to collect them. So for tomorrow, I'll be able to pick up my little flower ring. It's gonna be super cute! It seems to be a cutscene with Laura. I almost feel like I haven't triggered cutscene for a while, but ever since I started gifting Laura daily, I guess we can trigger more hard cutscene with her. And Laura is telling the visitors welcome to Olive Town. Even though it's just a small town, we have museum, hotel, and a beautiful beach. It's a place. It's a town with tons of fun places. Hmm. Let me see. How about let's go to the street and take a look. And he says, sure, let we, I also want you to go shopping. Yeah, let's go to the beauty salon and shopping. And uh, Laura says, oh, hey, Miyuki, what do you think? How, I, how do I look when I'm working? And I said, super awesome. The visitor seems super happy. Or I could say, hey, famous tour guide. Um, I could say, hey, famous tour guide. And she said, yay, so happy. But I still have room for improvement and there's so many things I want to do. Oh, I'm glad you love your job. I want to make some posters and it's not just one or two, I want to make bunch of posters. But if I make bunch of posters, hmm, maybe we don't have enough space to make the poster? Ah, mm, seems like she has a fun idea. Oh, it's Laura and Miyuki. What are you guys doing? We have something that we want to talk to you about, Jason. Oh, what do you want to talk about? I want to put my posters here, and I want big area for the posters, about 50 posters. 50? Wow, that's too much. I, I don't think I can agree. Please, please, please. A lot of visitors will come. A lot of visitors? Hmm, wait. Well, if you put the poster here, I think only people who already come to the town could see. Well, I don't think it will help us in increase the visitor amount, right? And Laura's like, oh, <laughs> she just realized that? That's so funny. I thought she would put on posters for like some of the famous places. Like um, maybe maybe if people know the sprites and they can visit the sprites, it's probably going to make the town super popular. Too bad that uh, I can't share it with you, Laura. But that's really cute of her little cussing. Hopefully, I'll get to know Laura more. My hellebores finally matured, so this is the flower that I mentioned will make tons of money for us in winter. So if you only want to grow crops, then the onion is the best choice. But if you want to the absolutely ma want to get the absolutely max up maximum profit, I would definitely recommend grow some hellebore because after you get it, you can then put it into the beehive, and then you will be able to make some great honey out of it. This is going to be our major money makers in winter so i'm going to grow tons of flowers and hopefully also upgrading my honey making skills to level 10 this winter surprise surprise i triggered a cutscene with misaki it's so rare and i'm dying to know more about her and she says oh welcome what do you want to eat Oh, maybe it's a cussing with Blair. Yeah. And she says, Welcome, we're just talking about you. And we were thinking, what were you what work were you doing in the city? What kind of place will you live? 
Hmm, actually, I'm kind of curious too. What is Miyuki doing? Well, she's a YouTuber. <laughs> And uh, Misaki says, Blair, remember, while talking, you also need to take her order. Aw, oh, fine, I know. Yeah, I want to have a coffee mocha. And Blair says, is this place okay? Sure, that works. I went to the city a few times before, but it's a place that's a bit far away from the shopping street. You remember that there's a place where they shoot the movie? I went to and visit there. Sometimes I might even meet some actors. Oh, I did remember. Her dream is to become an actress. And she said, Oh, did you think I'm the movie star fans? Well, I am, but I am kind of interested about it. But I'm not just that. I'm not just chasing the movie stars. Uh, what I chase is not movie star, it's dream. My own dream. All good for you, Blair. Oh, well, I forgot. You haven't ordered yet. What do you want to eat today? Oh, she did forgot. That's funny. Well, I want to learn more about your dream and your movie star dream. And she says, if you don't have any ideas, how about you can consider our today's lunch special? I actually come up with the menu. So I can say, okay, I will order this or watch what's lunch special or I'll wait, I'll wait and order later. Hmm, actually, I'm quite curious. What is, what is the lunch special? Well, it's the potato salad, potato cream, soup, um, baked potato, and the fries. So it's a whole potato. Why? <laughs> wait, we, now we have only two options. I will get that or I'll wait a little bit. I, I, I think I will order that. <laughs> That's a lot of potato. And she says, thank you. It's super yummy and you won't regret it. And Misaki says, uh, Blair, don't just chat, come back and work. <laughs> Aww. And she said, okay. Wow, it's okay, it's okay. She always does that. And st she still chats, that's funny. And she said, well, that's it, we can chat later. Yes, we can. I'm super looking forward to chatting with you more, Blair. Oh, wow, and there's a lot of people in the shop. I didn't know this shop is really busy. Well, the, the reason I came here is there is a special dish I want to learn and some of the dish we can only learn by by actually eat in Misaki's restaurant. For example, here, this two. Um, but I didn't find the one that I meant to eat. Um, I thought it's a mocha, coffee mocha, but she doesn't sell it. Maybe it sells in the cafe. I guess that makes more sense. Ta-da! I'm back at the flower shop and I already got my wrist ready! Let's change it up! Oh, my wrist! My wrist! It's gonna look super great! Ta-da! I love the look! We look great! Oh, no! I don't wanna... I don't wanna... Yeah, there we go! Let's keep it! Oh, I really, really wishing some of the updates they will add like earrings. I would love that too! And also, today is Jean's birthday. So I'm going to give her a birthday gift. She likes the flower perfume, so I'm just gonna make that. That's pretty easy to make with some flowers. And she said, oh, is that my birthday gift? I'm so happy. Yeah, no problem. Happy birthday. I was finally able to make another dish that love it like. Yes, it's getting hotter and hotter. For this one, we need a special kind of fish that can only be fished in area 3. So some, for some of the later quests, you might not only need your cooking skill up, you also need a good fishing rod in order to get it. And it seems like after I finish this, I will get some awesome animal products. Well, there's still so many dishes I have to do. Mm, well, we will do it slowly. I have confidence in us. I think I'm ready to date Yuri! I already triggered all his harding ones, so today I'm going to buy the patent. And then also I bought the blue feather just in case. Maybe we'll be able to trigger it super fast and uh, go to the proposing phase. Um, that's one thing I want to test is if I propose to him before the 15th of the month, do I still need to wait for the next season in order to get married? Hey Yuri, all oh, seems like he just finished fishing and he says, Oh, fishing is awesome. It's like life. Oh, I'm not sure whether it's like life. But here you go. Please, please date me. Ta-da! This way, could we change a place and talk about it? Sure. I wonder where is Yuri's uh, place. It's at home. And he says, Tosetsu, are you here, Tosetsu? Why, why are we finding Tosetsu? <laughs> that is so weird. And he says, yes, I'm here. 
Just a moment ago, Milky asked me to date her. Of course, I feel the same. And if there's anything I should be careful of during dating, please let me know. Oh, this is hilarious. I can't believe he take me to his home and ask Dosetsu for his opinion. And he says, yes, I don't think young lord you did any wrong suggestions. But I wonder whether this person could suit your identity. Hmm, that's hard to say. Oh, Dosetsu, that's so harsh. I'm right there. And uh, Yori said, well, I betrayed my family, and uh, I don't have any status anymore. And Dosetsu says, yes, sorry, I'm out of my line, and uh, I don't disagree this. Yori then says, great, then I will agree dating Miyuki. What? You have to ask Dosetsu for before agree? Yori, I feel like it should be a mutual agreement before you and me. And Dosetsu says, well, young lord, I have something I want to ask Miyuki. Could I ask my questions? Mm, you can. Yes, so Miyuki, when you date my young lord, I must be by your side. Would you mind that? I would mind. <laughs> I would mind a lot, Dosetsu. I wonder when, huh, if we marry Yori, will Dosetsu move in with us? That would be super weird. And Yori said, wait, Dosetsu, I don't agree. Oh, good, Yori. What? When you're dating her? Uh, shouldn't I be by your side? Well, don't look, don't just make that decision. Well, well, uh, at least I could uh, try to eat the food for you to test out whether it's poisonous. That way we can prevent something bad happen to you. Well, that's not necessary too. <gasps> then what should I do? Well, just pray that we'll have a great life. Okay, I'll pray with all my heart that you guys have a happy life. Well, thank you, Dosetsu. <laughs> Please don't just crash our dating. It Really don't be like Lars, <laughs> but that was a pretty funny uh, dating cutscene. Definitely different than all the other character. Wow, I triggered a hard cutscene right after I proposed to Yuri, and I think this is our post confession event. And he says, "Oh, you're right on time, Yuki. I was about to make tea. Please come in. Oh, sure. I would love to try some tea you made." In my country, we not only respect martial art, but also tea brewing and uh, flower making. My tea brewing teacher used to teach me a lot of idioms. He said, for any encountering, we should treat it as an encountering that only happens once in our life with our ultimate respect and love. Oh, that's a lovely saying. I heard that during the war time, there was tons of wars happening in my country. But as soon as they enter the tea place, they stop being enemies, and it's like another world. In there, no matter you are a monk, a fighter, or a poem, everybody is just tasting the tea. Oh, that's beautiful. I love his explanation. And he says. Don't di distinguish your enemy with you. Well, sorry, I was just talking to myself. I thought about these many encounterings I had from now and then. Maybe this is when he starts thinking about becoming the friend with the assassin. Oh, I'm so looking forward for the assassin to actually show up. And he says, "Well, the tea's ready. Please taste it. You're the guest, so don't worry about、uh, all the policies. You can just relax and taste your tea, even if the same tea everybody tasted differently." I just want to enjoy my time with you. Oh, that is so sweet. I love his country's tradition and all that. Oh, I lost my scooter again. Well, one thing you guys, I would definitely recommend to remember is you will lose your scooter wherever you ask him out. So I think I asked him out by the water. So maybe my scooter is still around here. Tada! Here we go. Yeah. So it seems like if you trigger the casting and it teleport you to another place, your scooter will be lost at the original place. I wish you could teleport with us. Otherwise, we'll have to run back. Wow! Today is the first winter storm I had, and look at this! It looks crazy. I love their winter storm effect. It looks super realistic. I'm actually worried for our character running around doing farm work during this、uh, crazy winter storm, but we're doing good. I think we probably will have a huge amount of energy drain if we work during this day, and I'm not sure whether the next day any of our farm will get damaged or things like that. We will see. It's kind. Kind of cool that we also have winter storm day. In order to test out what's the effect of our stormy day, I decided to come out and do some chopping work. 
Hmm, because I upgraded my tours to the highest or coconut level, I actually didn't feel like it drained too much. It's probably faster than usual, but if you have or coconut tour, it wouldn't be a problem at all. Plus, most of the days, I actually just need to do a little bit chopping to get the mirage wood, and then I can do most of the other things in the mountain, uh, the sprite, the secret sprite area. Oh, actually, I'm quite curious. So does the weather also changes in the secret sprite area? That would be super interesting to find out. Let's go check it out. Ta-da! I went to the Lumberjack Mountain and it's uh, super beautiful. The weather is great. It's still spring here. It seems like for the Sprite Mountain, they're pretty pretty safe and it stays spring forever, which is great. I love that. And uh, it's, this place is definitely a great place if you want to add, add some sprites. So before that, I was having a little bit hard time gathering sprites. I was thinking we need to gather a hundred sprites in order to unlock one new area. That is crazy hard. But you can see, because we have such dense area of trees, I actually was able to gather the sprites really, really fast. The only thing is, I think the mirage trees are still baby trees. So I don't want to chop down chop them down yet so i need to be careful about it just leave the mirage trees alone no okay okay let's be careful don't tree don't chop down the baby mirage tree i'm not sure what's the how long does a baby mirage tree grow into a big mirage tree but we definitely need them because i think for the final house we need uh, uh, 60 mirage tree planks that's a lot of it if you have start gathering them during the spring then it might be easier for you i wonder whether the storm day will cause us not be able to trigger our next hard casting with yori let's see maybe every weather works nope i guess storm doesn't work usually i think because we already reached 10 hard i should be able to trigger a hard casting with yori today but unfortunately i can't today guess we'll have to wait for tomorrow that's the only that's the one of few downside of storm day i think i will be happy as long as after the storm day they won't destroy my farm that's that will be the most painful thing if they actually destroy my farm well let's also take a look to see if the shop will open on storm days hello hello are you still open yep they are nice 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 I'm here to buy more beehives. In total, we can have 20 beehives. But there's a, this weird bug where I can't buy multiple beehives at the same time. So I have to buy them one by one. So now I think... I thought we can only have 20. And I already have a decent amount. But the game just uh, almost letting me buy unlimited amount of uh, beehives. Oh, maybe after I bought it, they wouldn't let me put it down. I think I'm buying too much. Oh well, let me let me just buy this much and see what happens. Wow, I'm on my way to gift Laura with her daily gift and just wanna show you guys this dedication of Laura. Today is a snowy day and she's still standing outside the whole day to greet the visitors. Poor Laura, here you go, have a gift. You're the best guide ever. Please be safe guiding people during this storm snowstorm day. Aw, she's such a hard worker. I wish she could change to a warmer clothes too. Aren't you cold, Laura? I oh, know, poor thing. Victor really should uh, up her salary. Oh no, I was right. It says I cannot make more beehive. So even though when we put down in the farm, the game will check whether we already have 20 beehive and stop us if we have more than enough. But when we're at the shop, they won't stop us. So please, please don't do what I did. So if you go to the before you go to the shop, just double check how many beehive you have in the farm and buy that amount. See, now I have tons of additional beehives that I might just sell because there's no other place to put them. Oh, apparently if we sell it, it's uh, way cheaper than what we bought from the shop. So by selling it, I actually lost tons of money today. But I guess I don't have a choice. Bye, beehive. I lost so much money buying these extra ones. Da 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 da! I triggered another casting with Yuri! And he says, Milky, I have to be honest with you today. Okay, tell me. There is something that I haven't been able to tell you for a long time. Oh, I have something too. And he says, Actually, there is an assassin that's trying to kill me. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, we already know that for a long, long time ago. There's so many cousins that's telling me that. 
and we can say, "Oh, really?" or "I know that a long time ago." Well, I'm definitely going to say, "I know that a long time ago." And he says, "What? You know that a long time ago? Wow, Milky, you have a really great sixth sense." When I was at my own country, I got involved into who should be the next king. That's why I escaped and come to this town. Poor Yuri, and he says, "I want to see this wild world with my own eye." With that idea, I left the my position to my brother and left the country. And、uh, from now on, I actually don't want to come back. But a lot of people think that I might go back and cause trouble, and that's why those people are sensing assassins and、uh, trying to kill me. Well, it's just an assassin. I don't think he matters. But I will never let you encounter any dangerous situations. Oh, thank you. And I think one day we're going to make a final decision to finish this once and all. And oh, he suddenly gave a sharp eye. Maybe an assassin is here. Maybe we can finally see him. And he says, "Milky, back and stay behind me." Who are you? I know you're there. Maybe it's Dosetsu. And <laughs> it says meow, meow, meow. Oh, the assassin is pretending to be the cat again. Ah,、uh, and Yuri is like, ah, it's just cat. No, Yuri, don't be lied like that. <laughs> look at how, look at Milky's disappointed stance. Maybe the not next cutscene will finally be able to meet the assassin. Oh, I can't wait, Yuri. We've been waiting too long. I don't think it's a cat. Here we go. I'm sorry for cussing after cussings, but I really want to show you guys the assassin storyline. This is exciting, and、uh, I think this is the last cussing before our marriage to Yuri. And here's Victor saying, "Oh, Milky, are you working hard?" Well, I am working hard, and he says, "That's great. It's very important to work hard. Please work harder." And speaking of that, I have another important thing that I not need to talk to Yuri privately. Again, Victor, could you please help me ask him to go to the forest? Forest again? Fine. I could say I will go get him. You can go get him. Oh, maybe you're the assassin who's trying to kill Yuri's life. Oh, that could be it. Maybe this is a fake winter. I'm going to ask that. And he says, Oh, that must be the assassin. And he said, Ah,、uh, no, no, no! Please, Milky, please just help me. He is the assassin. We got him. We got him. That is so cool. Uh, maybe I'll ask again. So it's the same option. So I'm gonna say maybe you're the assassin who's trying to kill Yuri. Oh, and he gives the same reaction. Um, I guess how about I'll say you go get him. And he says I can't do it. That's why I ask you. Could you please do it? I guess our only option is say I'm going to go get Yuri. And he says okay. I'm going to go to the forest and wait for him. <laughs> This assassin is so. Not sneaky at all. And Yuri said, "What? Victor have another thing he want to talk to me privately? Okay, I'll go and、uh, immediately go." And Dosetsu says, "Please be careful, young lord." Well, hopefully Dosetsu is gonna go secretly following Yuri, and、uh, I hope Yuri will be fine. And、uh, Yuri said, "You're also coming. I think this might be the trap. You should go back to the town." <gasps> Here we go. Oh, it's a snake. Ah. Why is there a poison snake? Poisonous snake here, Milky. What are you trying to do? <gasps> Here's the assassin. We finally met him. That is so cool. I have to be honest. I actually really love how the assassin looks, and his dress and his hairstyle looks perfect. And Yuri said, "You, you are Matsuyuki." And、um, Yuri, you found a great partner. Oh, you finally show yourself. Yeah, I got the order to make you die here. I think so too, but I changed my mind. I'm not interested to kill somebody who's not so not ambitious like you. Oh, maybe Matsuyuki gave up because he's moved secretly moved by Yuri's speech and how he doesn't want to like take his family, uh, take back his status and go back to his country. And Yuri said, "What did you say? You, you should treasure somebody that you should protect." Oh, it seems like Matsuyuki is such a good guy. He's saying that Yuri should protect us, and he says the poisonous snake is not too big. It just makes you paralyzed a little bit, and that's it. Don't need to worry. And he just disappeared. Oh, I thought he would paralyze a little bit. Well, at least he stand up. And Yuri says Matsuyuki. I wonder who's Matsuyuki to Yuri. Maybe their childhood friend, or maybe they're like. 
I want to know more. Please, please, please let not let this not be the end of the cutscene. No, that is the end. I need to know more. Well, I think Matsuyuku will stay in town, and we can actually have heart with him after we marry you. Um, after we marry Yuri, so we probably will be able to find out more about him once he's part of town. Now, since I triggered all the cutscenes, I think it will be a great time for me to propose to Yuri. I did save right before this because there's one thing I want to test is whether they will need to force me to wait a season and marry Yuri in spring. If they are going to do that, then I might propose later in the winter so I could still、uh, try other characters like dating Laura and all that before proposing. If we just need to wait one to two weeks. Um, well, if we just need to wait one more week and we don't need to wait for spring, then we're going to stay proposed, and I'm going to find out more about the assassin. And then Yuri said this. Oh, how about we change the place and talk? Sure, please don't be some place that's super far away. I still need my scooter. Oh, and here's his house again. I always thought Yuri would take us to the waterfall, but I guess not. And he says. I'm thinking the same thing as you. I want to stay with you in this town and grow old with you. And、uh, this feeling that I'm expressing to you is 100% honest. Well, the dress that we're going to have during the ceremony in my country, we're going to wear the traditional Japanese wedding dress. That'll be super cool. I would love it. And we can actually pick. I could say, please wear the traditional Japanese suits. Please wear the Western suits, or please wear armor. <laughs> Part of me really, really want to pick armor, but I have a feeling that if I pick armor, um, it won't work. So, and I really want to see the Japanese one too. So I'm going to pick asking him to wear the traditional Japanese suit. And Yuri says sorry for making you follow my tradition. Ah,、uh, speaking of that, in my country, we usually wear black clothes during the happy ceremony. Oh, like marriage? What are you thinking? Hmm. I can say I want to wear black. I think white is better. Let's wear some super wonderful fancy dress. You know what? I <laughs> I kind of want to pick that. Is it gonna be rainbow? Let me pick that. And、uh, he says, "Oh, you're going to be like people, like a dancer. Okay, I can do that. Oh, really? <laughs> I have no idea how our wedding's gonna look like now. This is hilarious." After experiencing a few events with the marriage candidate, so far I feel like Yuri's、uh, events are definitely the most interesting and unique. There's so many things to introduce. We have so many options, and we have the assassin that's gonna show up. He's、uh, he's definitely. If you are wondering who to marry or date first, I would definitely recommend Yuri. It's great. And、uh, Yori says, "Dosetsu, Dosetsu, are you here?" Of course, he's here. <laughs> he just dropped from the sky, and he says, "Yes, I'm here. I decided to have my marriage ceremony with Miyuki. <gasps> Congratulations, young lord! I can't believe that little young lord is going to enter his、uh, next stage in life." Oh, please, please! When you are having the marriage ceremony, can you please wear the clothes that I made for you myself? Wow, Dosetsu, and he says, "Oh, well, we happen to decide what kind of clothes we're gonna wear during our ceremony." And he says, "Oh, I have prepared and spent so much time for your ceremony." <laughs> it's so funny. Well, I guess he's been making his wedding suit for so long. And he said, "Oh, well, I guess you did take care of me for so long, and it's bad if I don't wear the clothes that you made." Sorry, Miyuki. Well, I guess the wedding clothes. Could we just let Dosetsu、uh, handle it for us?、Mm, I want to say no, but they didn't give me an option. Well, I, Dosetsu, I'm sorry. It didn't mean that I didn't. <laughs> I appreciate your help, but I want to wear some special things. And Dosetsu says, "Young Lord Miyuki, I really appreciated it." Oh, don't cry, Dosetsu. This is my new journey. Oh, that is so lovely. I love this cutscene. Tada! I got another little baby cow. It is so cute. And I decided to name my baby cow after my new Patreon, Priscilla. Thank you so much for becoming my Patreon, and welcome to Milky Farm. Oh, I love all the baby animals. I can't wait to see the baby buffalo. They're gonna be super cute. 
And here we go. Here's our test. I'm curious whether it will force me to go to spring for the next ceremony. So for the dates. Oh, okay. It doesn't force us to go to spring. So we can have the ceremony either on winter 18th, 19th, or 20th. Then I'm a little bit confused about how did they decide um, how long do we need to wait after proposal to our wedding. Um, well, I'm going to pick the winter 18th just because that's the closest. So I'm going to do that. And uh, oh, we can pick the clothes now. I saw the the sets will prepare our clothes, but I guess not. I guess we still have to pick one from all this. Oh, I was really looking forward to pick a traditional Japanese clothes. I really, really wish they could add that, and that would be super cool. Well, I'm going to pick this beautiful little dress that I didn't get to wear last time. And Victor says, hmm, I think that's a great choice. I'm looking forward to your marriage ceremony. Well, me too. Oh, I'm just a little bit sad that we don't get to wear the Japanese one. Now, let's take a look. I proposed to Yori on 13th and we're gonna get married on 18th. Ah, I think it's always 5 days after the proposal. Okay, that's not too bad at all. And I'm glad that we were able to figure out the dates. Well, I think that wraps up our today's episode perfectly. I love how we were finally able to meet Assassin and I can't wait to marry Yori and finally make the Assassin move into the town. That would be super awesome. But one thing is apparently the Assassin will leave town if Yori and I have a child. So if you want to keep the Assassin in town and trigger all his events, you might need to don't increase your heart with Yori even after marriage. So so his condition is definitely a little bit tricky and uh, but I would love to learn more about him. And thank you guys so so much for watching today's video. It has been fun and special thanks for my awesome Patreon donors. You guys are the best. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.